is so happy day happy happy day this morning when I woke up I had to look at what day it was it's been an interesting set of days I kind of just allowed the Scorpio season to do its thing. Getting my sleep in. Hello, welcome. Do you love yourself? Welcome to the moment of taking time for yourself. Making time for yourself. Allowing yourself to just be. Allow it the energies that be to just be. There's nothing to control. Nothing to be in control of or in charge of or overthinking about. This is your time to just sit and be. Sit and be. Really feel into how you actually feel for the day. <sighs> I'm feeling great. I'm feeling just flowing. I'm in this flow state and it's wonderful. And that's why I come here so that I can bring my stillness energy forth and help people just take a pause in their day take a pause in their life so that they can love themselves so that you can choose you first it's so important so before we get in i want to pull an oracle card from this beautiful um new moon intentions deck now, it is not new moon time, but the deck's wonderful. <laughs> it always just has the cutest messages, and I think it'll be a great thing to use as we begin our time together. How are you feeling today? Think about what you need. What do you need? What do you need? We have number 23. Number 23 and it's healed spirit. Healed spirit. My spirit flies free and I imagine a life of freedom for myself, unconstrained by time, place, or resource. I manifest my spiritual visions into the material world, bringing my body and spirit into deep alignment. <sighs> Yum. That is so delicious. Love, love, love that. Heal the spirit. And so two and three is actually five. It is a vibrational number of five. So five means change. And this could mean a change going forward that you are taking the moment to indeed prioritize your health, prioritize you, prioritize the things that heal and uplift your spirit and your life. Okay, there's nothing that holds you back on this material plane. Everything you desire spiritually also birth itself in a material form here. And there's nothing your human body needs to do to, to make it happen, okay? Um, there's no need to overthink it because it's going to happen. Just allow it to align. And I don't want you to think that it's not going to take work because it is going to take work in the material plane, but this overworking energy that we grow up on and that we're trained to be like, that's not what we're meant to do. We're meant to sit still and be and feel into our bodies, into our souls, into our spirits, and then allow that inspired energy and action to 
be the fuel for whatever our next action is. And a lot of times the action is towards your purpose, towards what you are meant to be, what you are meant to do. You'll see a lot of people that end up being like, like starting a knitting business because they ended up loving knitting so much. <laughs> or um, just blowing up in candles because they they made these amazing candles. It's like you, you only need to make money to pay for the things that you need. If you can align your purpose, that's even better. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah I'm a really big fan of that sending you all of the passionate love again what in the world um, I'm sending you all of the love and all of the power to get everything you need more clear answers come when you're able to be still. So let's be still for a moment together. Just breathe life and gratitude into our bodies, into our vessel. Mm. Thank yourself for being here today. Wherever you are. Exhale any stagnant energy that does not serve you in this beautiful day. Mm. Healed spirit. You are ready for this healed spirit. If you find yourself holding your breath, invite a big inhale in every time you catch yourself. Nice deep breath to remind you of your breathing, to remind you of your humanness, to remind you of your soulfulness. Your body deserves this breath. Bless yourself consistently. As consistent as breath.
right, some deep breaths. Deep breaths into your body. Ooh. Think about what came up during your time. Think about what thoughts arrived as you sat still today. Aww. Thank you. So wonderful. so wonderful. <laughs> I love you too. Sending so much love to you. So much love. How do you feel right now? Tell me. How do you feel? Definitely, oh my goodness. <clears throat> I have been just so well, just getting ready for this move. Well, I mean, I'm about to go travel. It's not really a move, it's more of a goodbye to having a place that's specifically for somewhere. <laughs> my home is within my body. And so as I set off to travel, I know that I can always find a center here. I can always find a center into my mind, into my body and my soul. I have integrated all three. And I am so deeply proud of myself, of what all the work I've done and what I've done to get here. And it all happened in divine timing and divine alignment, I'm telling you. Not a single second earlier could I have accomplished what I'm doing right now. I've had to learn the self, the selflessness. I've had to learn how to be selfless. I've had to learn how to humble myself. I had to learn how to humanize myself and how to humanize humans. And um, I had to do all of that before I venture off into this track. I'm beginning in Africa and making my way Tanzania, Zanzibar, Egypt, Greece, head into Nepal, head into India. And the people that I am to meet, the people that I am to come into contact with, I mean, it's going to be just so powerful and amazing. And I'm just so grateful to be doing this and so grateful to be uh, stepping into this next version of my life, traveling. And so with so much gratitude, I come to these meditation sessions so that we can all get into a mindset of being still and allowing yourself to receive what it is you'd like to receive. I mean, everywhere I go, like as a healer, I'm here to heal. I'm here to heal as many people as possible within this universe. I also happen to be a writer and a business person. And so wherever I go, whatever human interaction I'm having, I'm taking notes and I'm studying and I'm learning. And so, <coughs> something I've learned is that, um, well, that the guidance is needed, firstly, that the guidance is needed, and it's okay for me to step into my purpose and into my light in that way. Also, I've learned that people, well, it's like a, once it's seen, then it's easier to to do 
And here I am in this vessel of who I am and I show up and I say, hey, look, this is what it looks like to be still, okay? Be still, sit down, feel into your body, into yourself. If you're in a relationship, oh my goodness, and you're taking on their feelings, their emotions, what they want, what they desire, what they need, you are now this robot that's now programming yourself daily to be what this person desires and what they need. What about what you need? I don't want to hear anything about, I just want a happy husband, I just want a happy family. No, you want a happy you. You are the foundation. Begin with yourself. You are number one. So if you were to please yourself today, give yourself what you desire today, what would be the first thing that you reach for? What is the first thing? And it should not have a thing to do with anybody else other than yourself, okay? Even if you are a healer, breathe. Even if you are a healer, even if it does give you so much fuel and light and power and just soul nurturement, even if the, all of that does exist, you cannot exist in all of that, all of its power, all of its light, all of its love, if you are not centered in the power source within. If you are not centered within the power source within. If you do not unconditionally love yourself, you cannot unconditionally accept the unconditional love of somebody else. You can't even vibrate next to them in the vibration and the energy that emits of someone who is of unconditional love. And you've got to understand that. You've got to understand that. Everything comes back to self. You can go through whatever it is you're going through, trying to succeed, trying to be happier, trying to uh, be a better mother, trying to be a better whatever. It always comes back to self back to self always 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 i can put you in a training room of any different any different group of entrepreneurs any different group of people any types of people the answer is always to look within always 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 it doesn't matter okay it doesn't matter what the subject is begin within begin with how you feel begin with what your inference and your input and your everything would be about this this venture ask yourself first and then do the research look up everything you can about it learn about it be engulfed in whatever it is that's bringing you light and soul or just go just do it It's just so important. It's so important for you to know yourself so that when it comes to a point of you presenting who you are in real life and in other people, to other people, you stand strong in who you are. You don't mind being, you don't mind being misunderstood or anything of the sort. You don't get upset when somebody says something about you. You know who you are. You vibrate in who you are. And you know that whatever you are putting forth, you are putting forth unconditional love. Because that's you. If someone has, it, has you mistaken, then they have you mistaken. And that's just the way it is. A really great way to begin training your ego and begin training the things that ignite you within is to indeed ask the questions of well why why do i feel this way why did this happen why is my heart fluttering in this moment listen listen to the mind to the body to the voices everything within you that tells you why you feel that way right now i'm talking radically stop everything in that moment to assess how you feel People call this, like in this, this uh, society and in human terms, they call it shadow work. And when I tell you I've done this work with myself intrinsically my entire life, and it's a really good testament to how the relationship to self is so powerful because I've always had this relationship with myself. I love myself so deeply so much. So whenever I feel a little bit off or I'm feeling in a sense of, okay, this doesn't feel right. Okay, I'll either do it right here or I'll go to the bathroom 
and I, I speak to myself and I say, what is wrong? Where are you feeling this? Where do you want to feel this? How can we move this? What is going on? What I don't do is run away from it, say, oh, I'll just think about that later, or drink alcohol, or uh, smoke weed, or uh, just ignore the fact that it exists. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Please don't. And I'm not putting down people that do reach for substances, but I am saying maybe reach for the substance while reaching for the, the journal and the pen at the same time. All right, you got all of it together got it all together you're about to just get it going a whole session with yourself when's the last time you had a session with yourself huh do it do it soon do it asap because what do you know about what's in here get it all down write it down get some uh get your feelings going get your feelings going um I think it's just such a beautiful journey for you to be able to get to know yourself. Just truly beautiful. Wow. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and then so later on you'll get to grab your journal, flip to any page. And this is actually something that I did start off doing um, a while ago that I don't do anymore. But every time I journal, I'll flip back to an old message and read something from there. Cause it just, you're in a time capsule and you get to hear your thoughts. Whew, man. The thoughts that I read back on, I'm like, really? Because always I'm like, I didn't think it really impacted me that much. But then I'll read the words and I'm like, I was mad. I was a little upset at this, but I, I get over things very easily because I'm just mindful, you know, I'm just mindful. How are you going to be mad? Everything is just ever changing, always coming, always leaving, impermanent. So there's, there's really nothing to be stressed about or annoyed about or sad about because it's all going to be gone tomorrow. And... I don't know, it's been a lifelong thing of like trying to to soften that phrase, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. Everything exists to be taken away and to go away. You know, you can't hold on to something and be like, oh my god, I want this forever. I learned that the very, very, very hard way, um, and we mostly always do. <laughs> But once you've had a just extreme loss, like you know that, oh gosh, I am never going to hold on to a single thing ever again in my whole life. <laughs> but that's the balance is you've got to heal that and you've got to look at that and you've got to say, I'm, a, I'm going to surrender to the will of the universe of what comes to me and I'm going to allow whatever love come in, whatever um, spirit come in, well, not whatever spirit, but just whatever greatness that will come to me. I'm not going to create a negative block around love and say, oh, I'll never love again because it was so hard. It's like, come on, human up. Humans are very strong, very resilient. And it's all about the mindset. It is all about the mindset. If you can master your mindset, if you can take the energy that you spend towards everyone else, if you can take the energy that you spend towards a video game, a craft, a gossiping, watching celebrities, keeping up with whoever, if you spent more energy on getting to know yourself and <laughs> spending time with yourself, do you know how powerful, you don't know how powerful you'll be, you just don't, you don't know yet, but when you're there, you're going to feel it, and you're going to be like, I'm glad I finally took the time to do this, I'm so glad that I took the time in this this time, this incarnation, to get to know myself. Because it could have been another one of, of just coasting or just plugging into someone else's systems that are not yours. Or plugging into someone else's lifestyle, religion, anything of the sort. Please know that if you are on the outside of religion and you've gotten out of that at least, you are so far. You are so far. 
already just in your incarnations like the fact that you have stepped out of a mindset that is just very controlling and very um tell you how to think the fact that you stepped out to think of yourself is extremely powerful so i'm pushing just so much gratitude and light to you because it takes a lot it takes a lot to go against what was taught to you when you were little and to go against people that you love that you know they want the best for you but they were programmed themselves they believe very greatly into something that they were programmed in and, and that's that's fine but it's like awareness man if you are the one who's breaking the generational curses and ties then step the step up let's go quit being afraid to step into who you are and how you are you're meant to break this shit okay don't we're not autopiloting in anybody's system create your own system and it starts here okay for the next three tuesdays i have some classes coming up we have habit tracking habit tracking for your higher self literally design yourself and become that person okay it's like 33 to 66 days and then the next tuesday is the higher self embodiment where we do end up finding exactly what how, what hobbies what you love what you enjoy and then it will will have you implement a system where you'll get to do more of those things rather than going to uh watching tv or scrolling through something you actually have a master list list of all the things that light you up which you're going to enlighten and empower your life so much more so that is a workshop online uh not next tuesday but the next tuesday after and then um the next week is another amazing class which is it's another higher self empowerment class and that one is about what is that one about Oh, the confidence class. You know what? Yeah, so the confidence class is, it goes habit tracking, confidence class, higher self class, okay? Confidence is everything, and I'm going to teach you how to feel embodied, empowered, and just oh, ready to put forth your self-love and be the powerful, confident person that you are, because you deserve it. Literally, no one can tell you who you are, how you are, what you are, anything except for you, and I'm going to show you in this live class, okay? So check out melamine.com slash events and join me in all three workshops coming up next week i have just given you so many words let's take this moment to just breathe into this moment i hope you found value in my words today I hope you found light in my words today. I hope you found comfort and a vessel for self-love. Please love yourself. You are everything. You are worthy. You are powerful. You are everything, beautiful soul. You mm. everything.
negativity out of you. Serves no purpose in you anymore. And as a light, as a seer, I will transmute it for you. Mm. It is no longer a part of you, that negativity. And as you walk away, you embody light, positivity to your day. Deep breath to accept. <sighs> Exhale to integrate. Have a beautiful day today. You, your soul in any way. You've got.